Hello, Owen. I'm just ringing to inform you there was a bit of a mix up regarding locations. Wrong address, my bad. Butter fingers. But you probably worked things out by now, eh? Five, right? Two. I thought he said five. It says two here. I'm sure he said five. If you were sure, then why did you ask? Just ring him and find out. been a blind spot. I'm not getting any signal. Me neither. I've messaged Martin with the correct address just in case. Better safe than sorry. Anyway, the party is for John. Big Johnny. Her words, not mine, dear. Not sure if it's accurate. Anywho, same building as before, but number five as opposed to number two. Crime of passion, I believe. The man thought he was some kind of international Casanova, jealous lover gone rogue. <sighs> For fuck's sake. See if you've rung the wrong bloody... Hello? Hi there. Large pepperoni for John. John, did you order a pizza? You must have been in. Nah, I'm just about to. We're on the first floor. He won't be expecting you, love. Everything should be rosy. Just drop me a line when you're done, dear. Farewell. Bye. You didn't know the whole pizza thing was just a means for getting to the front door. You don't actually have to dress like that. This isn't the actor's studio. I need to get into character, you know. Really feel it. Immerse myself in the world That's of... That's plenty, Brando. Take the gun out of the box. It'll be too messy. What if he clocks it? Who gives a fuck? Clocking a bullet soon enough. Hi! Jake? John. Are you John? Yeah, that's me. Do you need me to sign anything? Sign this, you wee waster. Shit. Oh, for fuck's sake! Give me your t-shirt. 
Alicia! That is not that like kind of girl. Believe me, we tried. Oh fuck all both of you! The t-shirt! Take his! I'd rather not give my partner whatever STDs are working on that got you now! Oi! I'm not gonna ask again. The t-shirt! Now! I'm going, I'm going! Satisfied? None of you are dead! I haven't been paid yet, and my partner's bleeding out on the fucking sofa! Satisfaction hasn't even crossed my mind! Here, we were drinking that! Your mother, wrap that around your head! Don't worry man, just stick the piss out the sleeve and you'll feel better in no time. I mean, it won't open. We'll need to break it down. You can't do that. Why not? I know doesn't wear any shoes, it would hurt like a bitch. Besides, Steve would go mental. He's weird enough as it is. And we don't want to lose the deposit on this place. Jamie's right, you've seen what he was like after the kettle incident. So what are we supposed to do? Mark will be back in the morning. He can call Steve and then we'll get the door off its hinges or something. So you want us to spend the night here with a couple of murderous psychopaths? I'd rather take my chances with Steve! Correction! We haven't killed anyone. Not in this building. Not yet. Fuck right here, made sure of this! They're gonna jam go, right? Not a bloody magician! Oh no! Well how about I'll be a bloody magician? You keep talking bollocks and I'll make my fit disappear up your ass! We ain't shite. Enough! E Fucking enough! There's two of you and there's three of us. You do the maths. If they're capable. Oh, look, we can overpower them. We can tie them down and we can call the police in the morning. They're trying to fucking kill us! What else do you want us to do, John? Why don't you climb down the drain pipe? Our windows don't open that far because the bank downstairs were annoyed with people partying on the balcony. It is their roof. I made for such a good smoking spot though. It was peaceful in the mornings. Pig on the moon's a dick. I'll believe Superman, we're breaking the door down. Why be in the right direction? I'll give a go. Nobody is breaking anything. You two have already fucked this place enough. She's bleeding all over the sofa, for Christ's sake. I am not about to lose my deposit over a pair of failed hitmen and a couple of junkie bastards. We're not junkies, Danny. We're alcoholics. Oh, fuck off, Jamie! We're sitting ducks in here, pal. All of them seem too much. If we break the door down, we can't be sure we manage to snatch the little pricks. Not all of them, anyway. Especially me in this state. Aye. No. Yeah, my eye. No, I meant I. Yeah? It doesn't matter. You're right. Can't break the door down. I've got a cunning plan. Ladies and gentlemen, we won't break your door down. We won't break your door down on one condition. Get to the point. We won't break your door down on the one condition that at no point you attempt to contact the authorities tomorrow or at any other given time concerning our presence in your home and grant us our peaceful departure. Peaceful departure? Yes. Our peaceful departure. So that's it settled then. And if we're going to be in here for a while, we should probably do a stock take. What take? An inventory. Of supplies. See what everyone's got in their pockets. Huh. Right. Give us a load of troops. E, right to go. We have... Half a tin of Sainsbury's Basics Bitter. A dribble of vodka. Half a bottle of mouthwash. Oh, you can't get pissed off mouthwash. Watch me. Get to the food. Half a bowl of cereal. Rapidly becoming a quarter. One melted Mars bar. Maybe a third of a packet of custard creams. Oh, and however many bounties are left in that box of celebrations. Steph's not eating the bounties. Ah, and let's not forget. 
A single croissant. You mean a croissant? Ain't that a pile of chocolate though? I've got two energy bars. Anything else? Three cucumbers. Snack size. What? A McFront is a nutritious snack. Alright lads, if we're gonna be in here a while, might as well get some kit. <laughs> you have literally just woken up. Now oh, it's been a very stressful day. So let's get this straight. Who are you guys? What do you want? The less you know about us, the better. Nah, that doesn't hack it. You guys hunted me down. I deserve to know why. What do you want? I'll tell you what I want, Johnny boy. I want to wrap my hands around your throat and squeeze. Not too firm, mind. Can't be over too fast. I've got to savour the moment. Enjoy every second. Lap up every drop of tension. I want to hear your moans and your gasp for breath as the light flickers out from behind those baby blues. Mmm. Kinky. Mari, enough. So what? These are like hitmen or something. <laughs> That's the general idea. Um, why are you trying to kill us? Oh, not a skippy bit. You really know the why. It's just the cash or offer for the job done. It's easier that way. Less personal. Besides, we're not here to kill all of you. Oh, well, that would be pleasurable. Just out for John. He's the hit. You lot are merely Sport. just... Obstacles. Hurdles to overcome, walls to scramble over. Oh, you lot are way more fun than walls don't bleed. <laughs> You've clearly never taken acid down, pal. Don't worry, Mari's just spitballing. We have an agreement. You must know your employer. Who hired you to kill me? No clue, mate. Pissed anyone off recently? Well, I bet it was Steve, or that girl from the adaptation lecture you ghosted. I didn't ghost her. I just didn't feel comfortable talking to her after you put your penis in her. Oh, we just spooned. Oh, sure. Because the pregnancy test was a random coincidence. Enough of this bickering bullshit. Who normally contracts you? Hmm. Usually drug dealers, money launderers, rival gangs, actual launderers once. Dry cleaning is a cutthroat business. Jealous lovers are a big one. Oh, bread and butter. It's a mad world out there, you get some real psychos. Apparently so. Sometimes you just want to watch the world burn. Christ, I need a fag. Reading's pish. None of that for me. If a book's any good, they end up making a movie out of it. I'd rather watch a two hour film than troll through 900 pages of shite. Amen to that. Cinema's in, library's out. It was just a suggestion, you illiterate fox. Although I appreciate the bonding moment. I'm not illiterate, Danny. My parents planned to have me. Well, my brother, on the other hand, doesn't know. I'll take a book. Any preferences? Something long. Shakespeare is the complete works. So when are we going to do it? Well, 
we're going to have to sleep at some point, so we'll do it then. I mean, we don't have much in the way of weapons, but then again, neither do they. True. This is dull as shit. Don't know what any of it means. Told you. What are you all studying anyway? English. All of us. Well, I like them. Oh, aye. How's that working out for you? It's not. What do you want to do after? Any career in mind? Don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Just had a good time, I suppose. You ever considered murder, mate? Not seriously. Is the pension any good? <laughs> for anything like Mary here, you only need a pension. Rude! Have you got any other books? I'll sort through our expansive catalogue. We have some of the finest first editions, you know. Right, we have... 100 Years of Solitude, uh, Hard Times, that's a Dickens, don't, you're no fun. Uh, ah, and of course, The Peace and La Resistance. A lot of my somersault. Give me the last one. Good choice. Does that have pictures? On every page. Happy fucking days. Danny, do you have to roll a hundred fucking fags? And is there anything else better to do? Why don't we play a game? I don't got any suggestions. How about murder? Not a game, Matty. Good show. What about Blind Man's Bluff? How do you play that game? You want to play Blind Man's Buff with two hitmen? I'm not taking my clothes off. Maybe not then. We've got Monopoly. That should fill the time. Oh, I'll be locked up. Hey, fit in. You're nippy as fuck. I was in the army. Special forces. For a while. Till one day you get caught roughing up the new starts and you find yourself out in the street. I mean, man's got to eat somehow. Shit, sorry. I don't know. It's fine. Didn't expect you to. I mean, it's fine. Life's alright now. It's just a job for me. What about you? Why do you do this? Because it makes me happy. Simple as. I love it when the breath stops and they go all limp and... It's like a wave, I suppose. A wave of death and it's coming for us all. I'm like a surfer riding that wave. You don't get a choice, you see. But I remain steady. Constant. I choose for you. I'm like... A god. A god of death, but without the cloak and scythe and that. He doesn't want to play god. How many twenties is it? Uh, six, I think. Check. 
shit the rules. Listen, are you being to shit? Oh, thanks, Jamie. I really needed to know that. I'm serious, Danny. What am I gonna do? I'm strong. Jamie needs a shit. Can you hold it in? No, I don't think so, mate. Well, you can't shit in here, that's for sure. It'll reek. I'd suggest doing it out the window, but I suppose your landlord didn't take into account any of you toss spot shit outside the toilet. Who'd have thought it, eh? What an oversight. I pissed in the sink once. Look, I really can't hold it, guys. I'm touching cloth here. Just... just... go in the box. The Monopoly box. I'll stick it under the couch and we can get rid of it in the morning. I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe I'm watching this. Oh, go behind the sofa. Oh, oh don't all stare, it's hard enough as it is. Doesn't sound very hard to me. <laughs> John! was misinformed. Marty, get up! Marty! <coughs> Marty! Sh Shut the fuck up, man! Get up! What is your problem? <laughs> Fucking... I uh, punched me! And the fuck up! Unless you want another one! Kinky! Easy, Marty. I'm fine. Well, the time's officially come. G, 
Thanks. Do you know, I read somewhere that in France they have to obtain eye contact when they do the whole clinking glasses thing. It's proper manners. Continental. I didn't take you for the continental type. Well, there's more to me than meets the eye. <laughs> well, that was fucking awkward. Well, it was sweet. I don't know, man. Just not really. I think I love you. Like, you think? Or, or you know? I don't know, I just. I, I need to tell you. Please tell me you're drunk. You've been drinking and this is just the alcohol. You're drunk and- You're beautiful. Thanks, I just, I just don't feel the same way, John. I, I understand, I get it. It's, I, I just wanted to tell you, I wanted to get it out there, you know? I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. Do you really want to be stuck in this room for the next 12 hours with three corpses? It's a small price we have to pay, mate. I mean, we've already got a box of shit to contend with. I mean, an actual box of shit. Drop it. If their flatmate comes home and it's us two that answer the door, don't you think that's going to send alarm bells ringing? He coming off that turtle to send alarm bells ringing. Fucking fire alarm. So, you dealt with many alarms in your time? What? Bad jobs are like. I don't want to talk about it. Last week, I was doing this bad job. Pretty easy money. The boss is laid on his driver, you see. An odd guy, steely, quiet as all hell. Anyway, we just. I want to know. We did the job, man. And we're driving away. Police on our tail. Sirens blaring. Nina, no, no, no. Oh, no, Marty. Suddenly, the driver screeches to a stop. Doesn't speak a word, right? What's going through his head? Has he seen something? Turns out. Yes. He has seen something. A big fucking something. McDonald's. And this bastard is hungry. This is all incredibly incriminating, not to mention fucking stupid. Long story short, we got drive through. <laughs> Meet Ian Adam Davis the third. Shut the fuck up, Martin. Shut the fuck up before I have to make you shut up. Do you want to try me? Try not be stuck in this room with some fuckwit amateur's corpse. Was that a threat, mate? Yes. Yes, it was! A blatant one, you fucking idiot! Oh, you're playing a really dangerous game. There's no games to be played, Marty. That dream died the moment some junkie took a steamer in a Monopoly box! Mm. What if we've got any cards? So where does this leave us exactly? I hate you. Who do you think you are bossing everybody about? You're like Alan fucking Sugar but with a worse dress sense. I hate you too. You're a useless prick and well I don't know why I have to kill you. I'm fucking looking forward to it. I don't mind you actually. You seem like a sound guy. Oh stop, you're making me blush. I don't like you much either. You're a stuck up arsehole who can't have a laugh. Right, I'm fed up with your shite. 
What's going on? It's not shite, it's stress relief. Helps with the cabin fever. What's going on? Marty's been a prick. Are you calling me a prick? Yet again, blatantly obvious. You really are a fucking goon. Oh, quit arguing! Got a head like an epileptic like at a rave. Oh, what happened last night? How much do you remember? I don't know really, it's all a bit of a blur. Christ! They probably clocked you, didn't they, mate? Aye, they did. Bastards. Oh. Did they do it stupid last night, did they? Just mouthwash. What? You drank the whole bottle of mouthwash. No harm, no foul. John. It gives you gas. Julie noted. John. What? I need to take a shit again. No, no fucking way. No, we're out of receptacles. What's, go What's going on? Jamie needs a shit. Again? Jesus Christ, how much shit can one man produce? I do not remember lads that has been in the inventory. It's not funny guys, I have an overactive colon. <laughs> it is a little bit funny. Oh Christ, I think I'm gonna shit myself in a minute. I think Uncle Moneybags, Moneybags are already full. The Monopoly man. Oh, I can feel it coming. I'll give you that one hand fairly witty. Not just a pretty face. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, Jamie, that reeks. Oh. Leave me alone. Now everyone's farce can be mini fresh. Boyfriend drank all the bloody list three. He's not my boyfriend. Sorry, Johnny. The feeling's just not mutual. What feeling? The feeling of platonic friendship? Oh, come off it, mate. Oh, come on, thank you very much. Please don't. There are enough bodily fluids circulating in this room as it is. Look, John, the room's not exactly that big. We all know you want to Fuck me. Yeah, he does. Do I? We all heard, mate. Although I think you've rambled something about love. Got a lot to learn about women, mate. <laughs> Don't we all? I'm done with this. Just got something else. Why'd you be like that, man? Like what? She doesn't like you that way. I'm still here, lads. Why'd you like her anyway? Cause she's nice. Still here. She's pretty. And she's nice. She's, I don't know. Nice? Nice. She's controlling, bossy, and not to mention, a total bitch. Still fucking here. Don't call her a bitch. I'll call her the fuck I want. Fuck off. She is a bit of a bitch though. Piss off, Marty. Piss off, Marty. Piss off, Marty. Fucking hell. I don't know where I'm not wanted. I don't know, I just... I thought Danny and I had something. I'm sorry, man. No, I really am. This is literally the opposite of the Bechdel test. I've never seen that film. It's not a film. Google it, mate. Right, it's come to my attention that we have another 10 or so hours in this godforsaken room, and I, for one, would like to spend the majority out of them sleeping. It's alright, man. Go ahead. I'm gonna stay out of bed.
Would you rather have sex with a goat and no one know about it, or not have sex with a goat but have everyone think that you did? I wouldn't screw the goat. Fuck what people think. I don't know, man. I'd fuck the goat. Of course you'd fuck the goat. What's that supposed to mean? Okay, I got one. Would you rather kill 10 people or 29 people? I don't think you're not just getting work tomorrow. I think I'd rather kill the 29 people. Alrighty then. We figured. Would you rather Uh, Would your flat need you back? Um, we've still got a few hours to go, mate. Hello? Hi. Um, your door was open, so I thought I'd pop in past. What the fuck is that? I think it's Mary. She used to date Big Johnny from upstairs. Hey, how are you doing? How did things go with Johnny? You said you were going to have a chat with him. Well, a cheater's a cheater. Once you've fucked your way from France to Finland, there's no coming back from that. But it's okay. He'll get what's coming to him. I'm sure of it. That's good. Positivity's good. Are you way up to collect your stuff? Yeah. You could say that. Cut the chit chat. Get us the fuck out of here. Listen, Mary, we're in a bit of a pickle. The door got jammed and we've been trapped in here all night. Any chance you could phone Steve on the landline? Sure thing. <laughs> How the hell did you manage that? Steve's a bam. I'll just give the door a... But they'll trace this fella back to you. What? You're messy, unprofessional, and a complete fucking lunatic to boot. How's that for stress relief? Don't turn on me now, you bastard. We're almost off scot free. Scot free, my arse. They're going to know there were more than four people in the fucking house. Plus, your fingerprints all over this fucking place. This is the easiest way. There. Now you're a mark too. We're even prick. Skin's easy to wash, Marty. Your fingerprints would take us hours. Better get started then. Nah, mate. I'd rather just shoot you now. Time is off the essence. that little piece of shit, Marty. As so much as thought about crossing me, you had better think again. 
Johnny Flat Five. Kill him now or I swear I will personally hunt you down and cut your balls off with a rusty spoon!